Charged in a shooting that left a woman paralyzed, hoped to get the case against him thrown out using Utah's new self-defense law. Case law investigators first reported on the legislation's various consequences. And tonight, Danielle Rivera reports on the latest case to test that law. The people inside two vehicles were already driving away when the shots rang out. A security camera capturing a critical piece of evidence in a July 2020 shooting at this townhouse complex in Taylorsville. 39-year-old Fale Sao is facing eight felony firearm charges. Under House Bill 227, Utah's new self-defense law that went into effect nearly a year after the shooting, Sao was able to request a hearing to determine whether his actions were justified and potentially have his case dismissed without going to trial. So with that, the burden does uh, shift to the state to prove by clear and convincing evidence that the use or threatened use of force was not justified. According to court records, So'o told police a group in two vehicles showed up and started vandalizing a neighbor's car. One of them ran towards him and he thought they might have a weapon. Then as they drove away, he heard a boom and started firing warning shots. In a court transcript, a then 18-year-old who was inside one of the cars testified, the final bullet ripped through the car and hit me. It felt like someone had slapped me in my back and then everything went quiet. And then the first thing I said was, I can't feel my legs. Her spinal cord was severed, leaving her permanently paralyzed from the belly button down. She's paralyzed for life based on the defendant's decision that he was angry at this situation and that he was going to take this into his own hands and show these people not to come back and not to do anything like this in, his, in that complex. He didn't put himself in this situation. He didn't do anything to create this threat, to create the terror that was going on. He was simply trying to get rid of the threat and to deal with it the best that he could. So was not in imminent danger, the judge said, when he shot at the vehicles rushing out of the complex. Warning shots are not justified under Utah law. The case is now headed to trial where a jury will get the chance to decide whether the shooting was justified. Daniela Rivera, KSL 5 News. New at 10, an alleged capital.